Hello, Progressive Democrats of America, uh, meeting during the Democratic National Convention uh, at the moment of national crisis and uh, progressive democratic revival, resurgence, and reclamation of our country from every racist, authoritarian, conspiracy theorist, fanatic, fascist uh, that has been uh, trampling our institutions and desecrating um, the American democracy. So uh, I'm psyched that you guys are organizing and mobilizing as ever. Um, Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy once said to me, you know, Raskin, the problem with you is you're a liberal. And I said, you're damn right I'm a liberal. The heart of the word liberal is liberty. And if we're not for that, what are we doing? And I'm a progressive because the heart of that word is progress. If we're not making progress, what are we doing in politics? And then I really stuck it to him and I said, these days, Trey, I call myself a conservative too, because I want to conserve the land and the air and the water and the climate system, the constitution, the bill of rights, social security, Medicare, Medicaid, healthcare for our people, the civil rights act of 1964, the voting rights act of 1965, the fair labor standards act, the national labor relations act, everything that the Republicans are trying to tear down and destroy from the census to the post office, to the democracy itself. Those are the things that we are defending and we are conserving. So we are the progressives, we are the liberals, we are the conservatives at this point, and we're up against a bunch of authoritarian nihilists who would demolish our democracy and destroy democracy all over the world. So uh, our task is a big task this year. Um, we need to beat them on early voting. We need to beat them on mail-in voting. We need to beat them in absentee voting. We need to beat them on election day itself. We need to beat them in every category so we create an unstealable election. And we know we're gonna get millions and millions of votes more than they did. Hillary beat Trump by three million votes in the popular tally. We beat them by nine million votes in 2018 when we took back the House of Representatives and created a 235 to 200 margin. We should be able to beat them by 14, 15, 16 million votes, but that's just the voting. We need to beat them in the election too. We need to defend the election and beat back every attack that they have on the counting of ballots, the reporting of uh, ballots, the sending of the electors properly assigned to the right popular vote winner. So we've got a struggle on our hands. I'll leave you with the words of Frederick Douglass, who said, great Marylander, of course, who said, if there's no struggle, there's no progress. The struggle may be moral, it may be material, it may be moral material, but there must be struggle. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never has, and it never will. And I'll leave you also with the words of the great Tom Paine, who wrote in 1776, at the time of the revolution, the crisis. And in it, he had these words, I'll update them, just so it doesn't offend modern sensibilities, as suggested by Speaker Pelosi every time she hears me quote Tom Paine. But he said, these are the times that try men and women's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will shrink at this moment from the service of their cause and their country. But everyone who stands with us now will win the love and the favor and the affection of every man and every woman for all time. Tyranny like hell is not easily conquered. But we have this saving consolation. The more difficult the struggle, the more glorious in the end is our victory. That victory will be ours in 2020. So go PDA, keep fighting, and I'll see you out on the road.